In today's video, we are going to be talking about consultation, how to book a consultation and get the job done. My name is Chris Bex. On this channel, I share hairstyle tutorial and hairstyle tip. If you like those kind of things, welcome to the channel. First, before doing a consultation, maybe you're doing in-person consultation or you're doing online consultation. If you are doing in-person consultation first, when the person come into the shop, just greet them and remember to just measure their name. That makes them feel a little bit relaxed. Remember, this person, maybe they don't know you and they don't trust you. They don't even know if you are the right person for the job. So you just need to kind of welcome them. The second thing that I like to do is, when I see them in person, I just kind of look at their style because their style will let you know what kind of person the person is because you can see if they are like flamboyant, then you know, okay, they like colors. And thirdly, what I do, you sit beside them. Don't sit too close to them and don't sit too far away from them. Like a hand reach, just sit a little bit because you don't want to be in their bubbles and you don't want to be too far away from them. So if this is in-person consultation, you sit a hand reach from them, not standing over them, high level with the client so that they can just put their guards down because you're meeting them for the first time. If it's online consultation, what I do is this. If they are booking for brighter hair, I ask them to bring three pictures, to send me three pictures of what they like to do. They can go on Pinterest anywhere to get the three picture. And I ask for the crown that they are using or if they are using a vein, you just have to see that. I ask for the dress that they are wearing and then ask for the veil to see so that we have to place the veil. When we are doing the consultation, there are questions you need to ask. These are called open and closed questions, meaning the question to say yes and no. Number one, I ask in these pictures, this hairstyle, what do you really like? You don't just, you have to go deep because what the client see, it might be different from what the stylist see. I ask, what do you like in this picture? Why did you pick this hair? Some of them can say, oh, I picked this hair because it's going back. That gives you a clue that they don't want anything on their face. And then I ask again, why did you pick this color? And I want to go learn more deep about why they pick it. Because they have come to do a consultation and they want your professional opinion. Other thing is this, you ask about what they like and dislike a body hairstyle. Majority of the clients, sometimes they say they don't want the hair coming too close to their face. Then I take a note down. And other thing as well, ask how they wear their hair on a daily basis. How they wear their hair on a daily basis will let you know if they like a simple look or they like more glamorous look. By seeing the dress, that can actually show you what they like. And then other thing to look at for, you have to look at the face shape. Very important. I'm posting a video about face shape. I don't know which of the video that is going to come at first. It's very crucial to know their face shape because they might use a style now that is covering, like covering half of their face and they have a short face. So when you have like, not short, like, when your face is not that long, you know the hair that is going to show, make people see your face. Other question that I ask is if they are wearing a wig or they are using their natural hair. If they are wearing a wig, I talk about the wig, I talk about the price, I talk about different type of wig that they can use to achieve that style. And some of them, they want to use their natural hair. If it's in-person consultation, you don't just touch their hair. You have to kind of ask for permission. Is it okay if I touch your hair? Because you need to feel the hair that you are working on. There's a lot of things to just check with the hair. By touching the hair, by taking permission from touching the hair, because you don't just want to touch people's hair like that. You have to ask and you have to respect them as well because they don't really know you. And the more you are kind of calm, ask them more questions about the hairstyle that makes them kind of trust you and say oh i think this person know what they are talking about i ask them how do you want to place your crown some people like to place their crown close to the front in the middle 
then take note down always take note down i asked again where they like to place their vein because you need to know you need to ask all these questions because they come to you they they are not sure and you need to give them your opinion to see if what they choose some client choose a side that is completely wrong for their face i take note i can still do that hairstyle for them but we just have to change it maybe they, their face they have like a, a round face and they want to wear the hair in a certain way they will still have the style just have to tweak it to fit their face shape at the end of the consultation always let them talk your question will be okay why do you like it how do you like it you have to kind of ask questions and what do you dislike about this hairstyle this is what i dislike about this hairstyle by bringing those three hairstyles that will give you an idea of what they want because they might choose a style that might be completely wrong for their face and wrong for the dress that they are wearing your job as a stylist is to make sure the hairstyle look good on them go with the dress and go with everything that they are using i see some pictures some bride they have like a maybe like my kind of neck <laughs> their neck is not too long and they are having this big hairstyle on you get i see the hair their face is small and it's covering half of their face you have a client like that you look at their neck just have a look at their neck so when you see their neck that will make you know okay you don't want something that is bulky on them depending on the dress they've chosen as well that's why you have to ask them can i see your dress can i see your crown can i see so with that you can just if they are like wearing open back you have to do a style that kind of fall a little bit so that their back is not too open that's why they are coming to you and i with a bride that has like those big hair simple dress depending and show that beautiful neck so you just have to look at their face i know sometimes it's hard to tell a client that that does not look good on you no i would never tell anybody that it doesn't look good on them because it's your job to try and make it look good if choosing three hairstyle you can take one 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 and build it together so what i do after we book the consultation make sure that both of you agree on what you are doing because you don't want to do it and they say oh i don't want it like that it's a waste of time and it make you look as if you don't know what you're doing now you give your professional opinion tell them this 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 is what we are doing by doing that the client have seen that you are interested and you've taken your time to listen to them to know what they want i'm telling you you if you do that you are going to book the job and they are going to come back and you are going to book more job when i do a consultation with my client mostly it's online by the time i finish they are telling me i've never done a consultation like this before that puts you ahead in the game and that make the person coming to you know that you know what you're doing that you make business guys if there's any other question you can put it in the comment section i can't wait to see you in our next video bye bye